Hey everybody, today is December 13th and this is the last KCP community meeting of 2022. So welcome and uh, thank you Stefan for creating our agenda issue. Uh, he just created it so there's nothing in here at the moment. I will um, start off by saying that we have one pull request left that's in the merge queue. And once that merges, I will begin the process of releasing 0 0.10. And after 0 0.10 is released, we will start to, uh, well, we will be ready to merge the large refactoring that Stefan and Lukash have been working on for um, refactoring workspaces and how uh, how that all functions. So um, this is pretty exciting. I'm, I'm glad that we're getting the release out this week and that we can move forward with the workspace refactoring and other things as well. So um, does anyone have any topics for today? All right, well, while you're thinking, uh, I will bring up one thing which is around flakes. So we have some uh, issues that are impacting CI and um, mainly uh, we're seeing this test integration multiple connections happen where something goes wrong and we get an EOF. I'm tempted to open up a PR to disable this test until somebody has some time to look into it. Uh, normally, we would not disable flaking tests, but this one is for functionality that is behind a feature gate and uh, is not properly authorized yet in terms of doing um, like pod logs and as exact and whatnot. So I feel comfortable taking this one and skipping it and giving time for folks to look into it. Um, so that, that's one, but if folks are available and have some time there, these are the flakes that are out there. Um, there's also, Another one that I think must not have labeled this as a flake. Um, yep. Mm. And uh, Steve did have a have a suggestion for how to uh, amend our EDE framework to try and gather some more information. So if somebody uh, is looking for some really useful work to do, uh, we could take this one on. Uh, go ahead, Sergius. Uh, just assign it to me. I've been, I believe, as we chatted previously, looking at a similar issue. In okay, the sure. Charts. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah. Are, um, sorry, if you if you come back to the, to the list, there are two related to Sinker or Virtual Sinker, which I assume were fixed when I made some big cleaning in the in in the entrant test and also the virtual sinker i mean the yeah. sinker picture uh, i was not sure i mean i'm i just wanted to give some time to you know confirm that, that everything was effectively fixed because it was a mix of a number of of root codes you know there was a mix of a number of secondary causes that made uh, things a bit worse Though finally, at the end, I found the the root cause of, of the the main flake. But so I I just gave a bit more time to check. But I think now we should be able to, to close them. So, okay. You know, Go ahead. Yeah. 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 I would say like if you refactor the code to where you know whatever was flaking before can't flake anymore because of structural changes, it's totally fine to to link to the PR and close it out. If you think that you've fixed it, it's totally fine to leave it open mm -hmm. for a week or two and then close it. Yeah. Just remember to come back to it, which yeah, yeah, sure. is exactly. hard. Yeah. So just to explain why they are still there, but yeah, it, it's yeah. fine. Yeah. If you think that they're good, you can go ahead and close them. Sure. Uh, go ahead, Mike. 
Yeah, I just wanted to um, raise a concern about the documentation. Um, if there's a major fact refactoring being merged, um, I was wondering if the documentation has a way of talking about both, you know, the old and the new. I see it does have a concept of releases, and currently there's only one main. Um, uh, what's the plan for what to do to the documentation as this refactoring um, happens? Are you asking if we if the website for docs will be available for multiple branches? Right, like for Kubernetes, right? It's it's uh, factored by release. I mean, yeah. organized we, by release. We support that, right, Stefan? I'm not sure it was done at the end. I think we are we're near to being able, but I'm not sure. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at it right now, right? If you go to kcp.io and follow the link at the top to documentation, you see there is a pull down for releases, but there's only one choice, which is main. It's not like there's okay. 0.9 and 0 0.10 and 0 0.8. Okay, so we can. Uh, website to include documentation for previous releases. Uh, I will fill this in. I won't make you all watch me do it, but <laughs> I will file it. All right, thank you. OK, um, any other topics? All right, I'm, I'm going to go with no. So <laughs> we do have um, just a few that are not triaged yet. And first one is that hyperlinks in the main docs site are broken. Um, so let's see. Yep, I would say they're definitely broken. I have a feeling I know what the issue is here, but um, we should fix this. Uh, I will take this one. And then uh, I filed this one yesterday because this action is just consistently failing. Something changed about a week ago where the file system in here ends up being read-only, and it has some trouble installing, I don't know, Docker or something. Uh, so I did assign this to the um, contributor who initially added this. But for right now, I've disabled this workflow so that on new pull requests, you won't see this failing anymore. Uh, it was not a release blocker before, and I think it's uh, not great to see something that's in permafail on all your PRs. So uh, if folks want to look at that, that'd be awesome. Um, and I don't know. Uh, Andy or yep. Mike, if you have any um, communication with the folks that did the PPC 64 uh, CI there, but if you could let them know, if you do, uh, that it's having some issues, that'd be awesome. There's an owner file. There might be more people if you want to text them, mm. like in, in the dot GitHub, I think. Oops. All right, thanks, Stefan. That was good. There was an owners for here? Yeah, there's somewhere there. Yeah, OK, there we go. Thanks. OK, uh, well, that's it for issues to triage. Um, so last call for topics. If not, very short meeting. Um, and we will see everybody in the new year, hopefully. All right. Happy holidays, everybody. Uh, see you around. Thanks. Bye. Happy holidays. See you. Thanks. Bye.